Hey again, everybody, this is Josh with Prez Pro Custom Homes, and I am gonna walk you today through our hourly plan, the hourly plan. We just finished this home in Harrisburg, uh, North Carolina. You can see this is a beautiful stucco home. It's got dark windows, um, just some really nice features and uh, a lot of attention to detail, even on the exterior of this plan, which you'll notice as we get a little closer up. So. As you wrap around the, the uh, garage, you'll notice that there is a third bay garage attached on here. And as we come up to the front door, you'll see the nice stone work. And this is a full stucco home. Now we use a hard coat stucco. We don't use the, uh, the, the imitation stucco or the synthetic stucco. So this is a solid concrete stucco coat, which is the best thing that you can put on your home if you are using stucco. Um, we've got timber headers, cedar headers stained here. That's a really nice attention to detail there. And a solid wood door, which everybody loves a nice front door. And as we walk into the home, we've got a cathedral ceiling in the foyer and it opens up into a either a dining room or a formal room. We like to think that it's kind of a flex area, just depending on how you'd like to use the home. We have a chandelier in here thinking most people use it as a as a foyer, uh, excuse me, as a dining room. And I will back up and so you can see the foyer, a wider angle. The foyer has got some uh, vertical paneling in it, which is kind of a, um, a, a twist on the ship lap that people have been liking for quite a while. But we really think this is gonna be a way of the future for at least the next few years, the vertical paneling. We've got hardwood floors. These are site finished hardwood, uh, white oak, I believe, or, or red oak, one of the two. They're hard oak floors. And as we walk in and spin around, you can see it just opens up really beautifully into the kitchen. And this is a really nice island kitchen with wall ovens and a built in microwave. Um, of course, you have the farm sink, tile backsplash. Just a great, great open kitchen. Nice place to entertain as it opens up to the rest of the home. The open floor plan, people just love that. And another cathedral ceiling in the breakfast nook. So it kind of matches the front door there. You can see uh, this, this particular lot, um, we actually just put this house under contract, but you can see this particular lot is on about an acre. Uh, this home's on about an acre lot. And um, just a, people have a really nice yard. So this, this neighborhood in Harrisburg is just a beautiful neighborhood. It's got a big covered porch that comes off of the living room. And we'll also see in a moment that it's connected over to the master bedroom. So as we walk back, this goes back toward the garage. You have a couple closets here. You have a half bathroom and your laundry room. And uh, one thing that we like to do in many of our houses is put full cabinetry and a folding area in the laundry room. Let me open up this garage door real quickly. So here's our garage. I'm not gonna walk back in the little single car area there, but we've got a nice big two car garage, oversized two car garage. So you've got a lot of room for uh, whatever it may be that you need to store or work on. Got a area here, a little bench to sit on, put hang coats, put shoes, and that sort of thing. And we're gonna walk back to the master bedroom. So as we walk back to the master bedroom, we've got a tray ceiling. And like I said, this room is just full of light. Um, it's, it's the sunset is actually coming up here in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and the, 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 the room is just still full of light. I can't quite get a good angle of it because I don't have a wide lens on my camera, but you can see it opens up to that big covered porch. So the, the owners or the, whoever has the master bedroom in this home is really gonna enjoy hanging out. Uh, and this has got a big, a big shower, uh, excuse me, a big master bathroom as well. You have a soaking tub, a really large vanity, and a big oversized shower. Let me try to get a different angle of that. So your shower is about double the size of a normal shower, to be honest with you. And uh, it's got marble floors, the uh, subway tile walls and a niche there, a frameless glass shower wall, shower door. 
It's got a separate uh, toilet area and it walks back into the closet. Now this closet, again, it's hard to get a great angle of it, but it's a really, really big closet. And one thing that I think is really cool is it walks through right to the laundry room. So when you are trying to do your laundry here and the master area, you'll be able to just walk right through. You've got, of course, have a door lock there, but um, we can lock it, lock it from the inside for privacy, but you can walk right through and throw your laundry right in the washer and dryer, which I think is just a cool feature. Um, it saves time, saves energy, and uh, it makes things really, really convenient. So let's go upstairs real quickly. One thing I've noticed here is uh, on this one, we did these fat bull nose treads, uh, the square nose treads, and kind of a little bit more of a, of a craftsman look on that with the iron balusters. And as we go upstairs, we have uh, three, four bedrooms up here as well. So this is a five bedroom home. Uh, you'll see in a moment, but the fourth bedroom could be used like a bonus room. So each bedroom has a nice size closet. Um, you might call it a, a walk-in closet. It's at least a very oversized closet. <clears throat> Down the hallway, there's a bathroom, two other, three other bedrooms. This, uh, the, this hall bath has got a double sink and a separate toilet shower area. So there's just a little added privacy there for the people that are using this bathroom. There's a nice big bedroom on the front of the home. This one also has a walk-in closet. Actually, if you look down here, you'll see our mascot walking through the grass down there. A little, little mascot dog, about a pound and a half. Maybe we'll see him a little more later. <laughs> um, so we'll walk through, finish up the tour here. You've got <clears throat> another bedroom here. Let's see if I can get a better angle. This one also has a walk-in closet. And this room opens up, it has a shared bath. It's a hallway bathroom, but it's also shared with the, uh, the bedroom. And let me see if I can get a different angle on that. Yeah. And down into the fourth bedroom, fifth bedroom, or bonus room. So, I mean, this is a great big open room. Easily could be a bonus media room, um, but it has a full closet in it as well. So it could also be the, uh, the fifth bedroom, however you would like to use it. Could be an in-law suite. One thing that's really cool about this home that I did not show you um, is it has a Laundry chute coming from actually uh, the, one of these doors right here has a laundry chute going down. So the people that are living upstairs can just easily throw their laundry down and go down and do the laundry. There's no carrying uh, baskets down and that sort of thing. So anyway, this is the Arley plan. It's 3,200 or a little over 3,200 square feet, five bedrooms, um, three and a half bathrooms. And we would love to give you more information about it if you're interested. This one sold, but we can build it for you somewhere else or on your lot. You can check out our website, www.prezpro.com, or give us a call, 704-453-2700. Thank you.